welcome to part two of chapter seven. I had to split the videos because they were going to be too long put together. So what I was saying is pure water. The guy in this uh, village has, and he's going to give it to Urk because Urk has the least amount of stuff in his inventory. And we are working on <clears throat> nice critical. Nice. We're working on getting our way down to this dark druid down here. He's the man who captured Nil's sister. And we're going to get her back. And I set Wrath up here because I knew this guy would attack him. And I knew he'd be strong enough to take him back down. Because that mage couldn't move into the mountains, his movement wasn't good enough. And now it's about time to take down this other druid over here. The only use for Florina in this chapter, I, uh, if you watched any of the other videos, you know that I hate her with a passion that burns brighter than the Thousand Suns. And uh, now she's pretty much done for this chapter. See, she gets terrible level ups. Just awful. So. What we're gonna do is. We're gonna have Will finish this guy off here. A little extra experience. And we're gonna move everyone forwards. Most of my uh, units on foot are going to go through the mountains. All my horseback units are going to go around. We'll get Sarah through the mountains right now. That way she can get closer to everyone. Or, nah, I'll heal Wrath. That'll be better. A little extra experience. I want to kind of draw this other druid here at the steps out, but he doesn't seem to want to move until someone gets into his range. So uh, I'm just going to have Sane kill him, I guess, because he's being a little bitch. And we have to use the lance. Hopefully Sane hits twice. So I got a 70% chance to hit. I know that's actually really good. 70% you're all saying, but... Thanks to the RNG random number generator, sometimes 70% just isn't that good. And a terrible level up. And now we're just going to march everyone in. He is all by himself, as you can tell by the, uh, the little victory music that's playing. One thing I always liked about this uh, this game, it had different music for different situations. And right now I am on the victory path. We move Florina close enough to get healed. Not because I want her to not die, but because she's the only one who has damage at this point next to Sane. I will be healing him now. Mostly because I want to get Flor- or not Florina. I want to get Sarah and Nils some experience. And they can't fight, so there's only one way to do that. Now I want to show you- this is one of the game's main characters. His name is Hector. And Hector is pretty badass. He is a axe user, which is strange for the Fire Emblem series, to make a main character who, for once, did not use a sword. Uh, Marth used a sword. Roy used a sword. Ellawood uses a sword. Lynn uses a sword. Ike uses a sword. Hector uses a goddamn axe. And he's that much cooler for that. I believe I'm going to actually use this pure water, even though I normally don't, just to show you exactly what it does. Holy lag spike, what the hell happened there? 
but uh, I need to get Eric over there so he can hand the water off to someone else. I don't know why I'm moving everyone like the way I am. It's only going to take two or three people to kill this guy. You'll find that almost all druids or dark magic users use the spell Flux. There's hardly ever another spell, which is strange. Uh, same goes for light magic users. You'll find that they always use the spell Light. Uh, the only characters who really use any different magic are uh, Anima Mages. Mainly because there's so many Anima spells. There's Fire, Thunder, uh, Elfire, uh, Excalibur, Thimble... I forget how to pronounce that. Thimbleviter? It's an ice tornado. Yeah, it's a tornado of ice. A blizzard, I guess you'd call it, rather. But, there's so many spells for them. I mean, dark magic users have Flux, Nosferatu, Luna, uh, and that's all I can think of. They have that one, they have two legendary uh, ones that they can use, but there's only one guy at the end who has them. There's one guy who has one of the legendaries and then the main bad guy. Nurgle has Eresh Kigiel, or however you pronounce it. I'll pronounce it however I want. Eresh Kigal. A very powerful dark magic spell, but... Light magic users have the spell Light, Shine, uh, Oriola, Loose, just, they have so many spells at their disposal, Anima Magic users. They freely change between them. Uh, my spell of choice is actually Elfire, uh, mainly because it does decent damage, it's not too heavy of a spell, so you can usually cast it twice. It's a decent spell, but... Here is where we're going to meet the game's main hero. Elwood of Foray. As you can see, he saved Nils' sister Ninian. He charged headfirst into a uh, stronghold full of men, presumably killed them all, and saved this girl. That's boss, I have to say myself. Plus, he's one of the he's one of the cooler characters in this game. Uh, his critical which I hope I get in his first chapter, just because it looks so cool. It just, it's just the coolest critical I think I've ever seen. It just, it looks awesome. Uh, next to Lynn's critical with her, uh, with her legendary blade. Next to Lynn's critical, it, it is probably the coolest critical I've, I think I've ever seen. In this game, anyway. Uh, let's see. At the end of this chapter, I believe we get the option of doing a bonus chapter, retrieving Ninian's Lost Ring, Nini's Grace, which shields you from damage for a turn, whoever she dances for. But uh, she came to her senses, so she's okay. Nils is okay. Everyone's okay. Thanks to me, as always. Because everyone else is too useless to stay out of trouble. But, uh... <laughs> later, Sane. You can hit on her later. Right now, we gotta go get her ring back. And I really want to skip this cutscene and move on to the next chapter, but I, uh, I'm gonna stick with the Let's Play and let you watch the cutscenes, I suppose. That way you know what's going on in the story, and you can understand the gameplay mechanics better, or what's going on in each chapter during the battle. 
now they're telling Lin about the special ability they possess that they can uh, sense danger. Whenever their life may be threatened, they can feel it. Which sounds like something that would be great to have as an ability. So, they're going to be traveling with us because their powers will be very helpful. And this is where Ninian finds out she lost Ninny's grace. And I'm going to opt to actually perform this side chapter because I love experience. You should all know I love experience by now. And uh, I can actually do this chapter fairly easily, even though it says that uh, side quests could be difficult. But uh, this one's not. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it, and that will be next time. Of course I'm going to do it. I'm just messing with you a little bit. But... Uh, this has been part two of chapter seven, Siblings Abroad. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, like. Leave your comment on how I did, and I will see you guys later.